Hi! In this video, we're going to show you how to drive a real car with your eyes only using SMI's eye tracking device. The car we are going to operate is a Dodge Caravan equipped with a computer that controls the gas pedal and the steering wheel. SMI's eye tracking device consists of a helmet with a wide angle front camera and an infrared camera for tracking the eye. The system comes with a laptop running SMI's eye tracking software. First, we have to calibrate the software so that it knows precisely where we're looking. To do this, we follow the software's instructions, which include focusing on some given points. Once calibrated, a red marker shows us where we are currently looking. After we set up the software to send the eye position to the computer in the car, we can run some tests outside. Once we're outside, we test the steering wheel to ensure that it moves according to the operator's eye movement. Next, we check if the tracking device is still calibrated. As you can see in the small video from the front camera, the red marker follows the person in front of the car fairly well. And now we're ready for some real driving. Most of the time, you will see a small video from the front camera with a red marker indicating what we're currently looking at. The distance of this marker to the center line of the image determines how much the steering wheel is turned by the computer in the car. Even though it's difficult to drive in a straight line without a point to focus on, following a moving object, such as the car in front of us, is pretty convenient. We just need to keep our focus on the car, and by doing so, we drive towards it. In case you were wondering about our driving speed, we told the computer to maintain a fixed position for the gas pedal as long as it receives signals from the eye tracker. If we close our eyes for more than a half a second, or if for some other reason no data is received, the car will automatically stop. Driving in reverse is also possible, though not so easy because you can't use the rearview mirror. The reason is, when you're looking through the rearview mirror, your eyes don't move enough to turn the steering wheel. Because the easiest way to drive the car with your eyes is by following a moving object, we found ourselves a volunteer. Due to our built-in restrictions on the maximum turning angle and due to low speed, it's kind of easy for a person to avoid us. But then again, it's not like we want to run over our volunteer. And this concludes our demonstration. We hope you enjoyed it. 